Hey everybody, welcome back to a tutorial. Today we're looking at sail conditions. To look at these, you want to be going over to your project and selecting here, and it'll open up this page. The key thing about sail conditions are they are going to check based on the wallet that's attempting to buy the NFT to see if that wallet meets the conditions. The wallet must also match all conditions that you add into here, okay? Just to cover how one works, I'm going to look at buyer must stake to a specific stake pool. If you select that, it's merely going to ask you for the BEC32 stake pool ID, which you can take from uh, Cardano pool tools. And I'm going to take the one here for our, our stake pool, which is Unmaker. And you can see here we have the pool ID. Simply copy that, paste that into here, activate the condition, hit save, and you're away. And now, the only wallets that will be able to mint this project will be ones that are indeed staking to the Unmaker stake pool. Remember they are an AND logic gate, which means that all of the conditions must be true for the person to be able to mint. And just for example, if we add another condition, which is this one, the buyer must have one or more NFT with a specific policy ID. And then I place in here um, the Ada Ninja's policy ID for the Aramar. You will see as I activate that, what would happen is only people that both hold that NFT or one or more of that NFT and a stake into that stake pool can actually mint. So I'm, I'm really narrowing that down there, right? That's the initial overview. We are going to provide content for each of the conditions as they do all work and have their own unique properties, um, which you can use to your advantage as a developer. For now, though, have a look and see what you can do. Thank you.